Hey guys, welcome back to the second part tutorial series on navigational component. In the previous video, I have showed you how to implement a navigational component in your application and how to create a navigational graph so that we will have multiple fragments that are linked to each other. So we had a main fragment that could lead to two possible destinations, fragment A and fragment B. In this tutorial, we will add a new fragment here that will accept an argument from fragment B. And by that, we will modify fragment B, we will set an edit text so that we can send a message from fragment B to a fragment C and display the message like this. For instance, if you click on fragment B, we will have an edit text view. And if you type hello world, and click on send, we will send this string from fragment B to fragment C. As you can see, we are in fragment C and we have displayed our message. So navigational component has this really awesome feature where it will enable us to send data from one fragment to another fragment. And not just that, we will be able to set the data type so we will avoid error messages and app crashes. And all this happens with the help of save arcs and navigational component. So without further ado, let me show you step by step how to achieve this. Alright guys, so first we need to create a new fragment. So click on this plus sign and then create a new destination and then call this fragment C and make sure to unsign include fragment factory methods and click on finish. And once you have this, just drag it right there. And then we need to create the links between these two fragments. So click on this circle sign and then drag it to fragment C. So now we will have one possible destination from fragment B to fragment C. And then we need to link this back to fragment B so that we will enable to navigate back to fragment B whenever it's needed. And once we have created this, we need to modify the layout for fragment B and C. In fragment B, we will have an edit text with a button. And in fragment C, we will only have a text view where we will display the message that has been sent from fragment B. And first you need to go to fragment B.xml and here we need to remove this so that we will have an edit text view. And then for the width is match parent and the height is wrap content. And do not forget to provide an ID and the ID would be text message. And then we need to provide a text size and the size would be 20 SP. And then we need to have a text style of bold. And then we need to provide a text color. Um, we can change this color from here and then we will choose bluish. And we need to provide a hint and the hint is type your message. And definitely we need to set some constraints so that we push this from here to there. So constraint top to the top of parent and constraint right to the right of parent and constraint left to left of parent. And we can add a constraint bottom to the bottom of parent. And this is it for the edit text. And now we need to add one button so that the user will be able to send the message. So button and the width would be 120 dp and the height would be wrap content. And do not forget to provide an ID. The ID is send message btn and the text would be sent and we need to provide some styling to it so style bold and then text size of 15 dp and then we need to add a text color and the color would be white and we need to add a background color and the color would be um, blue and now we need to set some constraint to it so that we push this button down below this edit text so constrain top to the bottom of the id of um, text message so text message and then we need to add some constraint right and left so right to the right of parent and then constrain um, left to the left of parent and then we need to add some margin top and the margin top of 10 dp this is perfect and then we need to close this so once we have this we need to work on fragment c so let's go to project and then resources layout and then fragment c and then go to split mode and delete this and in here we only need text view to display our message so for the width is wrap content and then for the height is wrap content as well and the id is message text view and then we can give a default value to it um, could be hello world so that we can see the result and then a uh, text size of 40 sp and text style of bold and then we need to add a text color to it and we will pick uh, blue and we need to set some constraint to it but before that we need to change this frame layout to constraint layout and then constrain top to the top of parent constrain bottom to the bottom of parent 
and then constrain right to the right of parent and constrained left to the left of parent as well. So once we have done this, we need to go to navigational graph, which is my nav.xml. And now once we have all this, we need to select um, fragment C and add an argument. Um, but before that, we need to add a few dependencies so that we enable a safe arg. And to do that, we need to go to Gradle script and then go to build Gradle project navigational component. Um, in the dependency section, you need to paste the following path, which is the dependency for the safe args. And do not forget to paste this in the build Gradle with the project navigational component, not the module app. And then click on save now. So once you have synchronized your app, now you need to go to build Gradle. And up there, you need to add this plugin as well, and then click on sync now as well. So once you have added your dependency, it's really good practice to rebuild your app because sometimes you will not get access to some of the components. So it's either you go to build and then rebuild project or you close your Android Studio and open it again. All right, so once your project has been rebuilt, you need to close these. And in your navigational graph, you need to add an argument for fragment C so that it can receive an argument from fragment B. And this could be the message that we will send to fragment C. So once you have clicked on fragment C, you need to go to arguments and then click on this plus sign. And in here, you need to provide the name for your um, argument or the variable, so message, and then choose the type of data that you will receive. So in this case, it's a string. You can also add a default value to it, but in this case, we will not. Just click on add. So once this is ready, we need to go to fragmentb.kotlin so that we will set a click listener on the button and then we do some validations so that we will not send an empty um, string so we need to go to java folder and then navigational component package and then choose fragment b and in fragment b you need to overwrite on view created and to overwrite a method you need to press ctrl and o and then search for on created view and once you have created that, you need to create a variable for the message that we provide to the edit text. So val message, and this equal to text message, and then dot text, and then convert it to string. All right, so once you have stored the text message in a variable message, now you need to set an on click listener to send message button. And then this is set on click listener. And now you need to check if the message is not empty. And if it's not empty, then we will send the data or else we will just um, show a toast message to display that we need to provide a text before we click send. And in the if statement, we need to create um, an action object. And this would be fragment B directions and the direction would be fragment B to fragment C and you need to provide a message as you can see and the message would be the text that we have stored and once you have this we need to navigate and then we will call find controller and then we will pass the view to the controller and then navigate to the action and if not we need to display a message so toast dot make test and then activity and then the message would be Please enter a message and then we provide the duration, which is um, length long. And then do not forget to call show method on it. And to see the result, we can run our app. All right, guys. So if you click on fragment B and then try to send a message. And if you click on send, as you can see, we will get an error message that uh, we need to provide a message. And this is because we have written our message outside of onclick listener. We need to get it inside our onclick listener. And now if you run your app one more time and click on fragment B, and if you try to send an empty message, you will get this error. And if you say, hey there, and try to send it, as you can see, we were redirected to fragment C. However, the message is not displayed because we need to display the message in fragment C. So let's do that. In fragment C, you need to remove this return and then create a variable of view. And this is equal to that. And then return the view so that we will have access to the view object. And first we need to store the message that you have received from fragment B. And to do this, we need to create an args uh, object. So val args and this equal to fragment C args. And then you need to cast it to nav args and just remove this. 
and as you can see we have an error because we have a mismatch of um, java virtual machine target that currently we are using 1.6 it suggests us to change it to 1.8 and the way to do it is just go to gradle build file um, that has a module extension and in here you need to go all the way down here you need to paste these compile options with the version of 1.8 and do not worry, I will provide these in the description down below so that you can have it. And then you need to synchronize your app. And once you have synchronized, this error is gone. Once you have that, you need to have a variable with the name of text message. And this would equal to the args object that we have. And then we need to get the message. And once we have this, we need to access our um, text view with the help of um, view object that we have. And then message um, text view. And this is a text. And that would equal to the text message that we have. So I think this is it. And to see the result, run your app. All right, guys. So if you click on fragment B and try to send a message, so hi hey there and if you click send as you can see we have successfully displayed the message so we were able to send data from fragment b to fragment c and the last note is if you want to change the label you need to go to my navigation and then go to split mode and then you need to go down to the fragment c label and just rename it to fragment c and this is it all right, guys, so if you go there and then try to just say hi and then send the message, as you can see, we were able to um, rename the label for fragment C. All right, guys, so we have made it. Congratulations. If you found this is useful, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything. And see you guys in the next video and happy coding.